Matt, uh, that was interesting. I Drew, I've never had a reading before. Okay. You know, I have to well, be. I can, I can hook you up, buddy. No, no, no. I have to be I, honest. I I'm not. It's, <laughs> it's not my style, actually. I mean, I don't. I'm open-minded, um, but I, I'm, I, I'm a doubter. What do you say when people are doubtful? I absolutely love people who are doubtful. I love the skeptics. I love the people who don't believe, to be honest with you, because nine times out of the 10, it's the people who are doubting, the people who don't want to believe in what I do that walk away with a message that forever changes their life. And to me, that's the reason why I love to do what I do. What I do, it's all about showing people that your loved ones are always with you. They're with you every single day. And what's so amazing is that even when you don't feel them, even when you think that they're not there, they are there and by your side. And I gotta tell you, I couldn't do the work that I do without knowing that our loved ones are there. I think that there is energy, psychic energy out there, the spirits of everyone who has passed away. So that being said, I, I bought into it. I wanted to believe it. And so that feedback, positive feedback that I got from Matt about reconnecting with my parents, I left the session feeling better, feeling good. Better. Well, Matt, I got to tell you, it's uh, you call it a gift, and I'm going to go with you because to be able to connect with those who have left us, honestly, it really, you know, you always say to yourself, if I could just have one more minute, one more hour with a loved one that's gone away, and if you're able to connect people in some way, then uh, that's powerful stuff. Well, that's what it all is. My job is all about connection. It's all about putting people back in touch with their loved ones on the other side. Because when someone passes away, we miss them, whether it be our mom, whether it be our dad, whether it be our sister, our brother, our close friend, or even our pets. And what's so amazing is that when I do my readings through Zoom or when I do my readings online, you know, your loved ones come through, but they don't stay with me. I don't have a conga line full of dead people walking behind me every day. They're there with you. I'm simply the translator. I just tell you what it is that your loved ones want you to know. They're there and they're coming through because they want you to know that they're with you, they're supporting you, and that they have never changed. They're still your mom. They're still your dad. They're still the person that you love and that you miss every single day. They're just with you in a different way. Matt, thank you so much. Drew, it was good having you in studio. A pleasure uh, being here with you, Dr. Th Ian. Thanks for undergoing the reading for us. <laughs> You're next. <laughs> We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panicked about the market. Panicked about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? <laughs> On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally, if I can change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically, he doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.